FTV, um, good win tonight? It was alright, we got a bit complacent when Torreira come off, I felt, and that's the only part of tonight where I can go, yeah, wasn't that great. But two, Aubameyang, two, two uh, great goals by uh, him tonight. I said in my preview that I thought he was going to start, because I feel this would be a game where mm. he could get a couple of goals and get himself going for the rest of the season. Mm. Um, and he looked sharp tonight, mm. looked really sharp, really and fired up, and it was, it's nice to see a, a decent side out there in terms of strength. Iwobi as well. Excellent. Play really well today. Yeah, really well. Um, I thought, do you know what? I thought the team collectively played well. It was just that lack of concentration. Switching off. Game was done at 4-0. Mm. And you could see that we missed that kind of bite in midfield mm. when Torreira come off. And yeah. I, do you know what the thing is as well with the substitution of Aubameyang and Torreira? I think that's the clearest indication of how those two are you know, probably going to start on Sunday. Well, yep. Yeah, yeah. Would you start Leno on Sunday? Yes, I would. Why? Yeah. Um, watching his game tonight, I watch his starting position. I feel he automatically cuts out the ball over the top because he acts as a sweeper. When the ball was at his feet, he was comfortable. Yes, I know the opposition's not great, but what I did see of him, he looked relaxed. Should he you looked... have saved any of them goals? You can't save them. They were too... Because there's a couple of fans saying that they felt at least one of them he should have done better he was close yeah. to him I, I don't know well for me i didn't yeah, listen those fans should stop smoking drugs <laughs> <laughs> listen those those were serious goals mm. they were really two well taken goals mm. and he weren't to blame for either of them what about lichsteiner would you start him mistake on one of them goals no 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 it was it wasn't a mistake right i watched it again it um, was a mistake no 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 i watched it again and the ball bobbled. was a mistake i watched it again the ball bobbled between him and the striker and it just fell to the striker's feet. You know drugs you were talking about? Listen, <laughs> listen, don't, you, you, don't you, sniff you, the coke, right. yeah? <laughs> no, I mean. you, you're saying that Licksteiner didn't make a mistake? No, it, it, Licksteiner and the attacker both went for the ball. The ball ricocheted between Licksteiner's legs and the attacker got the shot away. Watch it's it a again. Mistake. Uh, it's not a mistake, it was a ricochet. Watch it's a it. mistake. Look, shut up, I know what you're trying to do. I'm not trying no, to do what? It's no, it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. Let's go on to the it next one. It was subject. a mistake or no, wasn't? It wasn't. It, wasn't not, it, it was. was. No, it wasn't. It was. It no. was. A, it was. Someone get the highlight. Anything else you've got to say? Yeah, VAR. Yeah, get the VAR out of here, right? Go get the VAR. Go <laughs> get the VAR. Because for me, that was a mistake. But listen, you'd start him. You'd start Lichsteiner. Um, you know what, I think Bellerin's done alright the last couple of games, to be quite honest with you. I do think mm. he has, but I do think in the longer term, Ligstein is the better player in terms mm. of the experience and the knowledge and everything else. Um, it's a tough call at the moment because mm. I think Bellerin has done alright the last couple of games and he has kind of mm. sorted things out defensively and he does look a little bit better so yeah probably it was, not listen it was a, it was a half decent a good attacking game yeah. but re really poor um attendance yeah I, I think we could be seeing this a lot in this europa league i mean what did you make of the attendance tonight i think the people that didn't bother turning up have got no place to moan anymore yeah. last year you could understand with the whole wenger thing and everything else but we've got a new manager with players with a new spirit and come and support them i understand it's a thursday night i understand coronation streets on and all the rest of it where the end of the day come and support the team if you bought a season ticket what's the point you know i don't know what the club can do apart from get back in the champions league to stop these kind of things i'm kind of glad that we're playing brentford next week in the carabao cup because it kind of means with the amount of fans they're bringing you might not notice it you know, last year in the earlier rounds of the Europa, we didn't notice it when the lights of Cologne come here because mm. they took the stadium over. So it was really good. Mm. Mm. But it was embarrassing that there was about 400 of their fans and they were louder than all of us. So people, ca you can't moan. At the end of the day, we, like I said, we got a new manager. You look at the team spirit and the way the players uh, are reacting to each other. Mm. Why can you not come and support them? I understand it's a Thursday night, but if you bought a season ticket, you know we're playing on a Thursday. Or give you a ticket to someone else that will want to come because mm. there's plenty of people out there that will you know brave the rain and the wind and all the rest of it and come out here mm. and it's as simple as that really let, let me just finally ask you um ivan gazidis confirmed this week that yep. he's he is leaving arsenal football club to go to ac milan 
What's your thoughts on it? Happy? Bye bye, you fucking bald prick. <laughs> that's all I've got to say about it. I didn't expect you to go in like that. I wouldn't ask you that. No, that's but, what I've got to say. These are, listen, at the end of the day, Ivan Gazidis is a little bitch. Right? And at the end of the day, you knew that he was Arsene Wenger's little bitch. And now Wenger's gone and he's lost his protection in front of him, which was Wenger. He's like, now nah, I'm jumping but ship. He put How in, can he, he put no, in no, the no, structure no, no, here listen. now? He's putting, put the he's putting all the new ch the change. The How long? How long's that taken? How long has that taken, Robbie? How long has he been here? Ten years. And it's taken ten years to put this structure in place. You know, he bought one well, of... But he couldn't well, do it before because you, Arsene Wenger so why had a gone? lot of control. So why is he gone? So why is he gone? Coward. That's why he's a coward. Because he's scared that if it goes tits up, he hasn't got the bulletproof in front of him no more. He bought Emery here. He's walking out on the pitch with Emery before the season started saying this is the new era, this, that... I feel more sorry for Emery because he must be sitting there thinking, well, that's a letdown. I know Emery's going to come out and give it all the, you know, thank you for everything, etc., etc. But at the end of the day, he's let him down. And it's as simple as that. So fuck Ivan Gazidis. Go to Milan. Let's see how you long last in Milan because when it goes tits up, now smash your car up. Let's see how you deal with them fans. So at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. We move on. That's Wenger gone. That's Gazidis gone. Now all we need is one person to go. Yeah, we all know Stan Kroenke. <laughs>